Here we go then, the first Group 3 car on our leaderboard. The Ford GT LM Spec 2 test car, producing actually 11 horsepower less than the Hurricane used yesterday, but weighing nearly 300 kilos less and obviously being a race car, I'm pretty sure we could have a new leader on the board by the end of this lap. Let's see how it goes. So here we are again, coming onto the start finish straight to try and topple the McGann Trophy, who is still sitting at the top with a 125.976 into Paddock Hill Bend. Nice and smooth. You hear the car shaking. Really downshifting really aggressively to try and get that car turned in. That's a big slide and a double wobble as we come into that fast left-hand corner and slot in just like the McGann did. Now one problem with this with this car was that massive windscreen pillar on the left side of your screen there. Any left-hand corner, luckily there's not too many on this, but you could not see the apex of the turn as you come into that double weird awkward left-hand corner there. You just couldn't see the apex, so you're trying to turn in blind on memory alone as we're coming fast around there using all the curve possible. A good healthy car there running as wide as possible, which is good in this American big boy. Coming up to Sheen's now, a good healthy car and nearly running under the grass, which is fantastic line through there. Touching the inside there, but we're not taking as much as we could there of the rumbles. Last corner now. Oh, a good line through there. Maybe a little bit wobbly, a little bit sideways, but we're good. To the line. Will it be a 125? Yes, it bloody does. A 120.994. Five seconds faster than the Group 4 car, but you would expect a Group 3 car to go faster than a Group 4 car. Interesting that it's only five seconds, but still, we have a new leader. Next up, a small little French car takes a plod around Brands Hatch. Thank you for watching, liking, and subscribing. And we will see you in the next one.